Whoa, where am I? Whoa, where am I now? Whoa. Yeah, I got a green screen. More like a fucking green cloth Bruh. nailed to the wall with this shitty lighting. Also, I have no legs and my hair might be glitching, but deal with it. Oh man, I'm poor. Anyways, guess who had 1k subs last video? Yes, it's me. We don't care. Let me tell <laughs> right, let me Ask you guys for some ideas for a 1k sub special and holy shit, did you guys fail to deliver? Like, what the fuck even is this shit? Whoa, 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 whoa. Enough. Coming up, I break my game. Okay. I add terrible animations. <laughs> and I break my game yet again. <laughs> so sit back, relax, and enjoy. So to start off with this week, I re-added my movement system back to the game. Now looking back at the old movement system code from my first episode, it's quite fucking terrible. And since then, I've really become a much better coder. Maybe. Stop the cap. So I reorganized and redid all the code and made new animations for the double jump and dash system. Which was fucking painful. And they actually turned out really well. Yeah, bitches, I don't need an animator anymore. Are you sure about that? And boom, the new movement system works perfectly. <laughs> Except for this part. Yeah, that happens. To fix this bug where the player literally gets launched into space sometimes. Help me! Instead of using vector force in the code, I tried using body position and this happened. Go crazy! What did I just witness? Yeah, so until my brain comes up with a new way to solve this issue, you guys get this broken dash system. Whee! Please help me out in my Discord server. Oh, you're not in my Discord server yet? Join for some epic conversations like this. Welcome to the service of a free girl, e-girl at your service answering your questions in no mic chat about Sudi. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Next game, sword blocking, which Big Flop and Jura has been requesting for over a month. Damn! Doing this was quite simple. <laughs> Not really. To do this, I just needed to use the old blocking system, but you could only block for a certain amount of hits. The code pretty much just made it so that if you... So now if I press right click, the sword block should work. What? After 10 years of staring at the code... <laughs> I did some big brain shit because I just happen to have a massive brain. Just put this line of code here and would you look at that? It works perfectly now. And for the block animation, uh, we don't talk about it, okay? Even this guy thinks that my animations are shit. And you know what? You know what? I completely agree with you. Uh, I'll just fix it later. Just like literally the rest of my fucking game. <sighs> and then I added ragdolls to the game. There are a lot of Roblox games with ragdoll physics, and ragdolls are fun. So I also decided to add them to the game, instead of the character literally breaking apart into pieces. <laughs> oh, this must be painful. Now obviously I didn't know how to do this, I don't even think this is a surprise anymore. So I searched this out on YouTube and found this tutorial from a fucking 9 year old. WHAT?! How's a fucking 9 year old smarter than me? Anyways, after yoinking a 9 year old's code, I finally had ragdoll physics. <laughs> I still can't believe a fucking 9 year old smarter than me right was We don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me <laughs> After all this came the real shit, which also just happens to be the boring part of the game. You're just ruining it! So the first thing I decided to add was the stats and leveling system. For this I needed to use the data source service so that I could save up all the data, so I quickly watched the video that the Dev King made about this, just to recap my memory on this. By the way, go watch the Dev King, very cool. Then I quickly worked on a data store script, which had all the necessary info for now, including mangoes, because let's be honest, will this even be a mango dev game if there wasn't mangoes in it? Nope. So after I had all the data up and running, I actually needed GUI to display all this. So I sat down and designed all the GUI on paper, and actually came up with something quite decent. <laughs> what the fuck? And then added it to the game and it looked amazing. Now this was the stage where my brain literally just stopped Bruh. working and I didn't know how to make the GUI actually work. So like the usual, I searched it up on YouTube and of course find a video by Red Plays. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. A few lines of code later, I had a stats menu where you could upgrade things such as your health, stamina, defense, strength, which obviously affected your gameplay. And also the GUI was working perfectly. You could get XP from killing dummies or people for now. And leveling up gave you mangoes. I am so proud of myself. Now as this was functioning well, I wanted to make a quest system. And uh, I was just fucking lazy. So I searched on YouTube how to make a Shindo style dialogue box. And found this awesome video that showed me exactly what I was looking for. And this is how it looked in my game. After making some modifications to it, now you can either accept the quest or press no. And when you press yes, you're put into the mission and this GUI is shown. Yes, I know this GUI looks fucking shit, okay? You guys don't have to tell me. This GUI shows different things about the quest, such as the title, objective, time, reward. And they are all determined by multiple module scripts like this. And this. And this. At the end, it worked perfectly. Finishing this quest gave you a reward and if you don't complete it in time... You fucking die, you useless piece of shit. No, I'm just kidding. You just don't get anything because you fucking suck. By the way, I did most of the code here myself. I told y'all I got a big brain. Stop the cap! <laughs>
After all the big things were added to the game, I worked on some of the small things. The first thing was name tags. This was one of the relatively easy things to do as I just took a billboard GUI and slapped it onto the player's head and wrote some code and boom! And that shows your name and your level. But now you literally can't hide. So if you guys know how to make the name tag hide, if you're behind a wall or inside a bush or something, please let me know in the comments. It turns out I'm fucking stupid. So I can just go to the properties of the name tag and turn this setting off. And now you can actually hide in places like bushes. Maybe I do have a small brain. The last thing I had to revamp was sprinting. Before this sprint key was left shift like most games, but that was a problem because this key was used for shift lock, which is really fucking annoying. Roblox, please change this. So instead, now you're gonna have to double tap W to sprint. Am I copying deep poke in sprinting? Possibly not. Cow. I also added the fancy stuff like an FOV increase when you sprint. And yeah, that's it for this video. Man, this green screen was a pain in the ass. I got a lot done this week and hopefully I could get even more done next week. Anyways, see you guys next time.